Diane Abbott has once again been destroyed, this time by Michael Gove. Of all people, by the way, Michael Gove, I don't really trust him personally. I don't want him to be prime minister or leader. I don't agree with his policies, but I'll be objective. He's a very good punching bag and he's, a very, he's good on the defense line uh, for the government, especially when he's up against people like Diane Abbott. This time, the question that Diane Abbott had in the parliament was on the issue of uh, uh, Ukrainian refugees and visas. She tried to politicize the whole issue and say, well, the UK are not doing anything. We only given visas to 50 people even though the UK are also spending a lot of money, taxpayers' money, sending it to um, that side, to the east, uh, to help with camps, to help with all the equipment and all the goods and everything else, the process and everything else. And, and obviously, you're going to have the majority of Ukrainians go next door to neighboring countries. But Diane Abbott wants to politicize it and say this. Will the Secretary of State speak to his colleague, the Home Secretary, and make her aware that only issuing up until now 50 visas for Ukrainian refugees is quite shame. wrong and brings yeah. shame upon shame. this country. Yeah. 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 The, as I said, it's, it's absolutely stupid the way they phrase the question because they try to do gotcha, they try to uh, take things out of context and they're making me defend the UK government's track record on this issue. <laughs> well, I have to because it's the truth as opposed to what the idiots like Dan Abbott say. Um, I expected people like, uh, well, the person up against her was Michael Grove. I expected you know, any government minister to be like vanilla again, boring, and try to be defensive and say, uh, uh, I will speak to the Home Secretary soon to find out the, the real answer. No, this time Michael Gove decided to become brave, or <clears throat> let's just say, man up, and say this. The Home Secretary was in Poland, on, at the border, talking to those who were working with refugees. She was... She was delivering while others, others, I'm afraid, seek to make political points. We have a Home Secretary, energetic, determined, on the job, talking to those at the front line, making a difference. And I'm afraid, I'm afraid that people, when they want unity and they want purpose and they want delivery, will order, say to the Honourable Lady... OK, OK, calm down, Michael. You get overexcited, but fair enough. Also, can't really fully defend Pretty Patel, can we? Not really. Um, her track record is not the best as Home Secretary, so let's be honest, yes. On the other hand, she, for once, Downing Street and the Home, home Office decided to play well when it comes to PR. They sent her to the East to be around there to actually, to face. she's not actually doing the, the job herself. It's all the bureaucrats and people who are uh, working on the ground. She's going to take the credit, but she's supposed to be there. She's the face of the department. So in this issue, she's done something. But I'm also going to criticize Priti Patel in the next video, in the, one of the videos I'm going to upload later tonight, <clears throat> on one main problem, that the Home Office are still absolutely incompetent. But Michael Gove was right to finally lash out uh, against uh, uh, Diane Abbott, but I had to stop him because he was getting slightly too overexcited. Don't get too excited when it comes to Michael Gove. Still don't trust him. Thanks again for watching. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.